All right, good afternoon. I'm gonna have a quick chat with you on the way into the office. And y'all, I didn't even realize I have four. Okay, there we go. I have four appointments in a row starting at one o'clock and it is like 1232. <laughs> so I don't know why. I, okay, I don't know why I wasn't aware of that connection. Okay, my apologies. This connection is gonna keep going in and out until I get to the end of the street. But good afternoon. All right, we're back. Yeah, every time when I'm pulling away from the Wi-Fi at the house, I don't know why the connection just goes in and out, in and out. I don't know what's going on. But good afternoon. Thank you for asking. I am doing well. Um, I have come to some decisions today that are, I believe, I know, and I believe are going to be very good for me, very good for my future. And sometimes I often tell other people this, that sometimes you just have to make a decision. Like you just have to wake up one day and you just have to make a decision about something. And so that's what I did today. I just woke up and I made a decision. I made a proclamation. I made an intention. You know, I just said, yeah, this is what it's going to be. And that's that. And yeah, and I feel great. I feel a whole lot better now that I've proclaimed that. So I am headed into the office. I have four appointments in a row. I don't know how I, I don't know what I did, but I thought they were later and they're, the first one is at one o'clock. So I need to hurry up and get to the office. But I wanted to give you something for you to consider. So I'm working with a client now um, and we met yesterday and I'm starting to see some patterns. And I, that yesterday was not the first time we met. We've met maybe five or six times, but we met yesterday and I kind of called her out on some patterns. Um, I felt like, you know, we had seen each other enough times that I could do that. I could just kind of call her out on some patterns that I was seeing. And so I did. And, you know, it was a hard session in the sense of, you know, she was tearful and she was quiet, but she knew deep down what I was telling her, you know, was the truth. And so I said, yeah, I know this is hard, but you know, this is a part of growth because keep in mind, we're not going to grow when things feel great. We're not going to grow when people are telling us what we want to hear. We're not going to grow if we're not getting a good, healthy dose of the truth. We're just not going to grow. And I'm going to be honest with you all. I don't, I don't do coaching or counseling or therapy to see people stay the same. Like that's not what I'm on. I want to see people grow. I want to see them get better. I have had some amazing success stories in my practice. I've had some amazing success stories in my coaching. I have seen many a woman get married, uh, get pregnant, have a baby. And I mean, these women came out of toxic, abusive relationships and they met good men and they got married, moved in, bought a house, had a baby, the whole nine. So, so I've had some amazing, amazing success stories. And that is why I do what I do. That's why I keep doing what I'm doing because I want to see people grow. I want to see people change. I want to see people get better. And so, yes, you know, I'm going to be sweet and kind and I'm going to be loving and I'm going to be supportive, but then I'm also going to be very honest. I'm going to confront you. I'm going to be very direct. You know, all of that is a part of my style and some people love it. Some people love it. Some people don't, they don't come back and that's okay. That's okay. Cause guess what? I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to give it any different. This is how I give it. This is my style. And I'm going to appeal to the people, you know, that is for, and I really, sometimes I tell people that now here's the thing I will say, if more people didn't like it, like if more people weren't coming back, then I might have to adjust my style. But right now, 85% of my clients, they come back, you know, 85% of my clients, 90%, you know, they keep coming. Because they're like, yeah, I know what you're telling me is true. I know it's hard to hear. I know it's hurting me right now. But what you're telling me is true. And you're telling me the truth in love. So, yeah, sometimes you, you just got to do it the way you do it. I have my style. That's what I do. And people who love it, love it. People who don't, that's okay too. I'm just not the person for you. That's all right. Okay. 
But one of the things I noticed in her was this pattern of her thoughts, her thoughts, like just, they were not supportive of what she says she wants. They're just not. And can I be honest? That's most of us, myself included. Her thoughts were about being rejected. Her thoughts were about being ghosted. Her thoughts were around not being lovable, not being worthy, that she could not uh, bring into her life a healthy man that was going to support her. She has health challenges. And she was like, yeah, I just, you know, I have all these health challenges. What kind of man would, would want to deal with this? You know, I said, look, your thoughts are preceding, you know, they're preceding you. And I want you to understand this. So I'm a big spiritual person. Some of the stuff I give you is really woo, 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 woo right? It's really, it's really out there. However, I honestly believe that if I'm not telling you something that's going to hurt you or someone else, you have nothing to lose by trying it. You have nothing to lose. So if I told you to take a penny and tape it to the back of your shoe and walk around like that for a week and a week later you was going to get some money, I mean, you have nothing to lose. As odd as that sounds, I mean, you do it for a week. Let's say you get the money or you don't. Like, you have nothing to lose. Nothing nothing bad is going to happen either way. So, yeah, sometimes I give you some woo-woo stuff to do. Okay, I give you some stuff that, you know, it's it's a spiritual thing. It's a, it's a, it's a 5D thing. It's not a 3D thing. It's not what you can see. It's not what you can touch. But understand this. There are two planes that we live on. There's a spiritual plane. Everything you want exists on the spiritual plane. Everything. The man, the house, the money, the job, the car, the degree, whatever. It exists in the spiritual realm, but you can't see it. You can't touch it. You can't taste it, right? It is not physically present yet. But down here on earth, those are the things you can see. Those are the things you can touch and taste and smell and all of that, right? And so here's what a lot of people do. They are limited by earth. They are limited by what they can see. They're limited by what they can touch. And so guess what? Lots of people, I think more people than not, they live in a 3D world. They're like, if I can't see it, if I can't touch it, if I can't smell it, it ain't here. It ain't here. It don't exist. Okay. And you can keep living like that if you want. And you're going to get exactly what the world and what life is showing you. I don't live that way. I want bigger and better and I, I just, I want it all. And I know that all of it exists on that spiritual plane. So I have to, it's almost like I have to live in two worlds. There's my mind and my thoughts is on that spiritual level. It, it My mind knows it's real. My mind knows it exists. My mind knows it's just a matter of time before it becomes tangible. But everything else, like what I can see, touch, taste, smell, and all that, that's down here. And so sometimes the earthly plane, the reality says, I don't have it. I don't have any money. I don't have my man. I don't have my marriage. I don't have my kids. I don't have my fill in the blank, right? You can stay stuck there. And guess what? The more you say that, the more you speak or think that you don't have what it is you say you want, that's what you're gonna get, more of that. So you gotta understand that for a lot of people, so for this particular client, her thoughts, in my opinion, based on what I'm seeing, based on what she's saying, based on how she's moving out here in the world, I said, look, your thoughts are keeping you stuck. Your words and your thoughts are keeping you stuck. Your beliefs are keeping you stuck. So we're never gonna have more than what we believe. Right? If I don't believe, I, I'll never get married and I'm, I'm just going to keep it 100. There are women out there who've told me with their mouth, I don't believe that, Anita. That's not possible. It's not possible to be with a man who doesn't cheat. It's not possible to get married at my age. It's not possible to be with a man who doesn't lie. It's not possible. Fill in the blank. Here we go. And you know what? Here's what I know to be true. If they believe that, it's the truth. It's the truth for them. But yet, they'll look at someone like me and they'll say, I don't even understand. You know, you've long hit the wall. <laughs> You're way past 35. 
and you're still attracting men, you're still out here dating and men are still whining and dining you and doing this and that and taking you here and taking you there. Yeah, yeah, they are. And some of those men are much younger. Some of those men are older, but yeah, <laughs> men are still doing that because understand that's what I believe. What I know and believe about myself is I'm a diamond. I am a rare yellow diamond, okay? I'm one of the, the most rarest gemstones on the planet. I am the unicorn. I am the outlier. I believe that in my spirit and my soul. I am not basica, okay? I am a unique, high quality, high value woman. I bring so much value to the men in my world. That's what I believe. And guess what? That belief precedes me. That belief goes before me. And guess what? Because that's what I believe that's in. That's what I see out. Everything that's within you is pushed out of you. So when you, this is the hard part. When you're seeing things you don't want. When you're being mistreated. When you're being ghosted. When men are disrespecting you. The first thing I want you to do is go in. You have to go in and say, okay, what's going on inside of me? <laughs> because this is something that's mirroring me. This is, this is showing up because it's a mirror. It's a mirror. It's something that's already here and it's showing up out here. So you have to really pay attention. Thank you so much, Alta, for buying a badge. I so appreciate you. Yeah. You got to pay attention. You got to pay attention. But too many people, they're not doing that. And so guess what they do? They want a partner. They want a healthy masculine man or they want a feminine woman. They want a beautiful woman. They want a handsome man. They want a woman who's fit. They want a man who's fit or who's emotionally intelligent. Because I've had to work on this, y'all. I've had to work on, you know, finding emotionally available men, finding emotionally intelligent men, men who are communicative, but I'm going to be vulnerable here. Are you ready? I wasn't that. I was all, all that was showing up was a mirror of what I wasn't doing. Anita, you're not communicating. You're not telling people what you need. You're not telling people what your standards are. You're not telling people what you expect. You're not being emotionally vulnerable. You're not putting yourself out there. And guess what? All that showed up was men that was just like me. They, they were a mirror of what I was. And so I said, ooh, this is me. I got to go in. I got to go in. There's something going on inside of me. It's not about the men. They are a mirror. They're a reflection of what's going on inside of me. So this is a high level concept and a lot of people are not going to get it. I'm just, I understand that. I still got to bring it, you know. I understand that. Um, the Queen of Cascade says, I'm still working on being rejected when the truth is given with love or I'm setting a boundary. Yeah. But you got to be willing to go in. And that's the that's that's my knee-jerk reaction now. If, if something's going on outside of me, I'm like, okay, let me sit down. <laughs> let, me, let me journal my thoughts. Let me figure out where this is showing up within me. Because this is nothing more than a 3D reflection of what's already in me. And everything I want in this world is already here. It's just on a spiritual plane. It's not down here. It's up here. So I have to take my thoughts higher. I have to stop. Mm, this is what I told her. You have to stop saying what you don't want. We are famous for telling people what we don't want. Oh, girl, these men out here are crazy. These men out here are trash. Oh, these women out here are all masculine. These And you keep saying that, and you wonder why that's what keeps showing up. You keep talking about it to anybody that'll listen. You keep thinking about it. You keep ruminating on it. I don't think about things I don't want to happen. I don't think about people I don't want to bring into my life. Nope, I only attract 
healthy masculine men, men who are wonderful communicators, men who are emotionally available. I am emotionally available. I'm a great communicator. I am open and vulnerable. See, those are the things that I'm talking about all the time now because I don't want that other stuff. But that's the truth. And if you sat down and you were really honest with yourself and you asked other people, what are some of the things that you hear me say about men or about relationships or about women or about relationships or about love or about, you know, whatever? Ask other people what they hear you say. They're, and if they're, if they're honest, they're going to tell you that you have a lot of negative talk. You're always talking about something you don't want. And that's what's going to keep showing up. So your thoughts... Now, this, this works for everything in your world, whether it's your relationships, your money. Right now, I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling with some financial beliefs, but I made a declaration today and I meant it. Like I meant it in my soul, in my spirit. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm not talking about this anymore. I'm not stressing about this anymore. I'm not doing anything in the 3D about this anymore. I'm, I'm working on this spiritually and I'm letting everything else go. And I meant that. I'm done with this because my resistance is what's keeping it from coming to me. All of that is resistance. But right now, I'm talking about you manifesting the love of your life. So a big block for people is you don't feel worthy. That's a big block. You don't feel worthy. Why should you get this great person? Why should this wonderful person come into your life? There's no way that person would want me. There's no way. See, here we go. Number two, and this is even bigger. Number two is even bigger. You ready? It doesn't exist. It's not real. It's not real. Look at look at all these crazy people online. Look at all these people on social media. I mean, it's not real. Feminine. How many times have I had a nickel for every man that told me there are no feminine women left? These women don't want to submit. These women don't want to cook. These women don't want... And, and because you keep saying that, that's exactly what you're going to get. Because last I checked, I exist. Right? I exist. I'm real. I mean, you're seeing me through social media. You're seeing me through your phone. But I exist. I'm real. I love cooking. I love, you know, catering to my man. Like, I love collaborating. Okay? I love, you know, listening to him talk and supporting him and, and pro providing that, you know, steady, stable. Yeah, I, I love all of that. And last I checked, I exist. I'm real. So yeah, you, you have to start saying what you want. And same for the ladies. Stop talking about all these dudes, these non-committal dudes, these casual, you know, casual, you know, dudes that want, you know, casual goodies, you know, stop talking about them. Start talking about the men that commit. Start talking about the men that marry. Start talking about the men that want something real. I only attract mature masculine men who are ready for something real. That's the work you have to do. But no, you're not talking about those guys. You're talking about these other men that just want something for free. And it's plenty of them, but don't, don't pay them any mind. Stop talking about them. Stop thinking about them. And some of y'all, you will walk out the door on a date and be negative. And, and what that energy precedes you. What do you think is going to happen on that date when you're walking out the door, talking to your girlfriend? Oh, yeah, girl, this fool, I done met him on the app. And we're going to do X, Y, and Z. And it's probably like this. And it's probably going to go like that. And I hope he ain't like this. And I hope he ain't. And here we go. And you show up. And that's exactly what you got. And then here's the loop. This is what I told her. I said, this is the loop you find yourself in. You have negative beliefs. You have negative thoughts. You have negative words. Then you go out. Then that shows up. That thing that you just talked, it shows up in your 3D. And that confirms the thought, the words, the beliefs. See? And it's a negative loop. You started that way. It showed up. It now solidified what you said. See, girl, I went on this date and girl, he did this and he said that and that. And here we go. You in a negative loop. And until you stop it, it's not going to stop.
You're going to keep attracting these men. They're going to keep showing up. And then it's going to confirm it even more. You're going to keep saying it, thinking it. It's going to keep showing up. It's going to confirm it even more. At some point, you have to stop. And let me show you how this is going to go. You're going to say something different. You're going to talk about what you want. You're going to talk about what you want to show up. And it may take two or three times for it to do that because you are in a negative loop. You're in a negative spiral. So this is what it would look like for me. Okay, I, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to meet someone new. Uh, I date for fun, not to find the one. This is going to be an interesting experience. I'm going to meet someone new. I don't talk about meeting my husband. I don't talk about meeting the one. I'm just excited to go out, go to this new place, meet this new person, have some interesting conversation, have some good food. That's it. Let's say I get there and the date doesn't necessarily go the way I want. I say, that's okay. That's okay. Because next time I'm going to go out, I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to have a good meal. I, you know, and I keep going. I keep saying what I want until it shows up in the three-dimensional world. I do not let what I see confirm. And then here I am back in the cycle. No, I say it's out there. It exists. It exists on the spiritual plane and it's out there. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep assuming, I'm going to keep manifesting, I'm going to keep saying it, I'm going to keep thinking it, because it will show up. It will show up. Our thoughts are powerful. Your thoughts and your energy is magnetic. That's why when you're down, when you're sad, it's like more bad things happen to make you feel down, to make you feel sad. It's like You're like a giant magnet. And vice versa, when you're happy, when things are going great and you're happy, more things are showing up to make you feel great, to make you feel happy. And so please check your energy, check your words, check your thoughts. All of that stuff matters. It matters. Because like I said, I hear people's patterns and they can't deny it. And then they come to me and we have sessions. I take notes. Guess what I do? I pull out their file. And I go through their notes. I'm like, oh, and you said this on this day. And then you said this. And they can't deny it. They're like, darn, Anita got receipts. Yeah, I do. And you can do the same. Start asking people, what do I say about this? What What have you heard me say about that? What are, what are my words like when it comes to this? What You know, ask people. And if they're honest, they're going to tell you the truth. Yeah, you be talking bad about, you know, you be saying this, you be saying that. And I want you to take it as truth. It's the truth. You have to check yourself. Everything in our 3D world is us pushed out. How we feel, how we feel about others, how we feel about ourselves. And so, ladies, I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of y'all don't like men. And yet you want one. Like, you don't like men. A lot of y'all are repulsed by men. You are completely turned off by men. But yet you want a man. A lot of women, oh, men are stupid, they're this, they're that. And yet you want one? Like Those energies are juxtaposed to each other. And gentlemen, y'all are guilty of it too. Oh, these women out here are like this and they're like that and all these 304s and this and that or whatever. And, and yet, you know, women, can I be honest with you? Women love men who love women. I can tell the difference between a man who loves women, who genuinely loves and admires women, and a man who is like, all women are the P word. I can tell the difference in their energy. And men who come to me like, oh, all women are the P word, I'm like, nah, bruh. I, that's the last dude I want to, yeah, yuck. <laughs> I'm good, you know. You can tell energetically. And then there are men, you know, who love women, like in general. They're like, yeah, I love women. So you need to decide which man you're going to be because that energy precedes you. When you show up on that date and your objective is getting the P word, yeah, I can tell. It's not about me. It's not about the woman that's attached to the P word. It's about the P word. <laughs> so, you know, no, I can tell. I can tell that's what it's all about. And again, some women are guilty of this too. They're, all they're worried about is the man's wallet. They don't care about the man attached to the wallet, okay? They just care about a man's wallet. They just care about what a man can do for, for them. 
And, and again, that energy precedes you. You are not genuine. You're not there to have anything real, you know? So we got to do better. But I know this is a spiritual conversation that we're having, but I also wanted to tie it to this may be the reason why you're struggling. This is most definitely the reason why my, my client is struggling. And I had to call it out. I said, you have got to get out of this energetic vibrational pattern you're in. I mean, when I tell you this, this lady has been ghosted a lot. Like it's, a, it's, it's crazy. Like when she says to me, oh yeah, I have three dates this week. Two of them ghost me. I have four dates this week and three of them ghost me. I'm like, okay, it's, it's you. It's, it's your energy. Can I be frank? I've been living 55 years. I think I've been ghosted by a man twice. Twice in my entire 55 years has a man ghosted me, just disappeared. But on average, that is not what happens. Because like I said, I'm not, I'm not thinking about that. I'm not worried about that. That energy is not preceding me. Like, no, not at all. So yeah, I was like, there's something going on in your energy. There's something going on, you know, something is there. I said, and I need you to stop and look at it. So your words, your thoughts, these patterns, these beliefs you have, sit down with yourself and just be honest with yourself. So how I did it is I just put topics on top of papers and I just wrote about them. So the first topic was, what do I believe about men? And I just wrote everything. Next topic, what do I believe about love? Wrote everything. What do I believe about marriage? What do I believe about commitment? What do I believe about, you know, keep going. Money, you know, you can do this for anything. One of the things I wrote down on what do I believe about love is I remember this like it was yesterday. I said, love is hard. And guess what? That's That was a belief that I had. Love is hard. And no wonder it was hard. I had to change that belief. So... This is a great exercise for you to do. It's a rainy day here where I am. I want you to take out a piece of paper and just start writing some things down. Do not censor yourself. Be honest with yourself. Go back, read it over, and try to literally, whatever you wrote that was negative, try to turn it into a positive because that's what's keeping a lot of you all stuck, okay? Have a great rest of your day. I'm running in now. Um, all coaching sessions are 50% off this month. Okay, I am trying to, apparently there's a problem with the website and I'm working on fixing it. I hope to do that today. But if not, you can always DM me. You can always cash at me or Venmo me or PayPal me. But 50% off, you're going to use the code 50 and then OFF, all capital letters on the website. If it does not work, just DM me and I'll get your session set up. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, stay open to love.